Disneyland is notoriously expensive, but if you follow our tips in this video, I promise you'll get through it on a budget. And we're going to be giving away a $100 Disney gift card, so stick around at the end of this video and find out how you can win. Hello adventurers, I'm Brian. I'm Jacob. And we are here to talk about some budgeting tips when you're planning your trip to Disneyland. So don't forget to stick around to the end because following these steps will definitely help you save some money. Okay, so the first tip is just to plan in advance. The further ahead that you can purchase your airline and hotel tickets, generally speaking, that's when you're gonna save the most money. And if you are gonna be flying into Disneyland, use the SNA airport in Orange County. It's close to the parks. It's usually about 20 minutes away. And this is gonna save you not only on airfare, but also on transportation. So if you're renting a car or an Uber, you don't have to go nearly as far. Also when traveling, consider traveling during the off season. Around this time is where airfare and hotels are a lot cheaper. Okay, so here's a fun little tip. If you have a Target credit card, you can actually purchase Disney um, gift cards at Target with the credit card and you'll save 5% on each one. So if it's money you know you're gonna be spending in the park anyways, this will help you get a little bit off the top of that total cost. That's a chunk of change. Now there's a lot more flexibility with park hoppers, but if you're going on a budget, maybe consider the one park per day option. Uh, you can still do a lot of things in the park. You just won't be able to hop between them. Okay, here's a big one. Choosing the correct hotel can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want to go and just stay in the nicest hotel they can find. That's kind of a waste of money because if you think about it, you're spending almost your entire vacation at the parks. You're really just needing some place to sleep. So go for the cheaper hotel, but a couple more things to consider is number one, looking for something close to the park or something that has a free shuttle. If you don't have to pay for transportation, that can uh, really add up over the course of your stay. And then also looking for something that has a free breakfast. Every little bit counts here. So the free breakfast, the free transportation, or just being able to walk to the park, all those things are gonna add up. And believe it or not, there's actually some free things that you can get at Disneyland. The artwork at Animation Academy, so that includes you know, a free lesson on how to draw some of your favorite characters, uh, and then you get to keep your art at the end of that. Uh, this also includes buttons that you can get at guest relations or at any of the stores or kiosks. Um, those buttons usually have it, you know, happy birthday, it's your first visit, uh, anniversary. You could also get chocolate samples at Ghirardelli's Chocolate Shop. That's over in Pacific Wharf in DCA. Uh, you can also get pictures. Now these are photo pass photographers all over the park. And while these pictures are included with a purchase of Genie Plus, they will also take your picture with your phone or camera if you ask nicely. Also, there's stickers. Uh, most cast members carry them uh, to hand out to children. Uh, you can also find stickers at the first aid kiosk and then also the Disney Vacation Club kiosks. All right, so here's a point that is pretty controversial. Uh, when I go to the parks, I probably spend the most of my money on food just because I love the selections they have there. But since it does eat up so much money, we're gonna talk about how to budget while you're in the parks when it comes to your eating. So first amongst ways to save money on food is to bring a refillable water bottle. We've talked about this before, but the water can be a few dollars per bottle and that really adds up. So just having your own bottle to refill will save you a lot of money on drinks. Another money saver is if you're staying at a hotel that has this, eat breakfast at your hotel. If you have a continental breakfast, it'll save you so much money just eating your breakfast there. That way you don't have to buy breakfast while you're in the park. And if you happen to not be staying at a hotel that offers that free breakfast, all the off-site restaurants are gonna be much cheaper than on property. You know, you've got Denny's and all those little places around there. Those meal options are gonna be a lot cheaper than while you're in the parks. Another thing you can do is pack a lunch. That'll save you so much money. Uh, as long as it's not in a hard shell lunchbox or you know a glass container and it doesn't need a microwave, you're very welcome to bring it to the park and enjoy it. And if you don't want to carry that cooler around with you all day, you can always rent a storage locker. You can place it there while you're enjoying the parks, and then when it's time for lunch, you can grab it and enjoy it at a picnic spot. Okay, so eventually we are going to be eating in the parks. We can still bring food with us. We can try to eat at the hotels as much as we can. But if we plan ahead for the meals we're going to have in the parks, that's going to go a long ways. So what we want to do is avoid the sit-down restaurants. We're going to be looking for the, the cheaper meal options. So if you research on the app, you can actually find the pricing for all the food in the parks, figure out what you want to eat, find the stuff that's um, you know gonna be the most satisfying for the lowest cost, and put that food money on a gift card. So if you've got a specific Disney gift card dedicated to just the money you have for spending on food in the parks, you'll know what that budget is and you're not gonna be able to go over on it on accident. All right, now I've got a question for you. Are you finding some tips here that are gonna help you save some money? If you are, I'd like you to consider subscribing to this channel and then clicking that notification bell. We've got lots of great Disney tips and tricks to come and you don't wanna miss out on any future videos.
Another way to save money is set a budget for the souvenirs that you want in the park and stick to that budget. Um, you can do this by you know, using gift cards, putting your money on that gift card specifically for the souvenirs. And a tip for when you're saving for souvenirs is do not buy stuff on the first day. The last thing you wanna do is be hauling around a bunch of souvenirs while you're in the parks. Um, if you really want a souvenir, I would just wait to the last day and then go pick it up if you still really want it. Okay, another tip here is to buy things in advance. There's lots of last minute purchases that you might end up making in the parks that could have saved you money if you had bought it ahead, such as water bottles or cooling towels, portable fans, autograph books, um, Disney t-shirts. A lot of the stuff you're gonna find in the parks, but it's gonna be a premium rate compared to what you could find at a, you know, even your local Target or uh, online on Amazon. Something else that people love to buy in the parks is uh, mini ears and also Disney pins. These are things that you can find on shops online as well. Uh, one thing to be careful of though when you're buying your Disney pins, make sure you look for a reputable trader. There are a lot of people selling fakes out there, so try to avoid um, big lots of pins that are on uh, eBay or Amazon. Um, look for Facebook groups, so there's even some good websites out there that'll sell you authentic pins. And I'd say the number one tip when you're trying to save money is to use a travel agent such as Getaway Today. Yes, they offer the lowest prices to get into Disneyland, also on the hotels around in the area. There's a couple ways that you can take advantage of this. What you need to do is go to getawaytoday.com, call 1-855-GETAWAY, or we've got a link in the description down below. What are you waiting for? Go check it out. So Disneyland on a budget. You can do it, anybody can do it. All it takes is a little planning in advance and a little bit of discipline. Faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. <laughs> Come on. And if you have any other budgeting tips that you'd like to include that we may have missed in this video, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks, thanks for watching. watching. All right, you guys, it is finally time to do our giveaway. Now, we set a goal of 200 subscribers by the end of August, and we have just smashed that. We are over 450 now, and as a way of giving back and saying thank you for the support, we're gonna be giving away this $100 Disney gift card, and on top of that, we're gonna be doing a second giveaway for this awesome Light Up Castle Cup. So, both of those prizes are gonna be given out Thursday morning, September 1st, and all you have to do to be eligible is, number one, be a subscriber to this channel, and number two, leave a comment in the comment section down below letting us know what you plan to do with that gift card. And we're gonna be going through and picking a random uh, commenter, but remember, you have to be a subscriber in order to win. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and one of these awesome prizes could be yours.